project going to do a little clip about setting up your Camus C5 steering wheel with Forza Motorsport out of the box when you set up the steering wheel it behaves very very strangely the cars are undrivable the car is just pulling you off the road all the time so i went through the advanced settings and i'm going to show you the setup that i came up with that works really well well at least works really well for me so if you have a camera c5 first of all of course you set it up into the input as a custom steering wheel you assign everything you have to assign to it the way you like it and then you go to advanced setting advanced input into the advanced input you set up all the axis dead zones to zero for the inside and 100 to the outside you will set those up on the canvas application by yourself Axis invert doesn't change for the steering. However, very important is to invert the force feedback. This is what is set up as off out of the box and what makes the cars totally undrivable. The cars basically are dead uh, in the center and then pulling you every time there is force feedback applied. All the dead zones, zero to 100, set it up in the Camus app. I don't have the um, clutch and I don't have the handbrake, so I didn't set that up. All right, now when it comes to vibration scale, put it at 10 because this is really for gamepad. It doesn't give you any realistic input. There's some slight information like ABS that can be felt. I set up my force feedback scale at 140. You need to set it up individually for every car, but I found out that uh, 140 is a pretty good strong force feedback for the car it feels like between acc and automobilista self-alignment at 100 mechanical trail and pneumatic trails i bumped them up a little bit i bumped the pneumatic trail a little bit more because you can feel where is the pressure being applied what tire has the traction so i put it a little bit stronger than the mechanical trail and the mechanical trail at 110, pneumatic at 120, you'll feel really how the chassis behaves and how the tire grip. Road feel scale at 100, that's really good to give you information on the road. Sensitivity of the load at 100. Everything else below it at zero. Wheel damping, center spring scale, dynamic dampers at zero. Set that up in the Camus app, not over there. Sensitivity, linearity, I'll leave it at 50 as it is. And so with this, I find the car to be really enjoyable to drive in Forza Motorsports. It's not as realistic as ACC, but it's not as loose or the feeling of floating above the road that you would have in Automobilista. So just remember, first thing you do is to invert force feedback. That changes everything. Do that first and then play with the settings to make it how you like. All right, that's it. Hope it helps. Bye-bye.